some of it's been pulled out to be planted. I've got my sweet potatoes in here, ginger, turmeric, some greens. This is where all the purple yams were. That, that's in behind on a rack in there that I've dug up. Replanted some of this stuff. Uh, sugar snappies. Beans are almost done. Planting snake beans, asparagus, and Nepalis are still growing well down there behind the lemongrass. So we'll chew off this way. I used to have a big hibiscus here that was ginormous, so I dug that out. So I've got a um, juicy pearl star apple that I planted in here. They're pretty ornamental looking tree. Oh, this is a sweet appleberry, Australian native. They're a really nice little fruit like stewed apple. Um, we've got the black sapotes up here. This one has got Small, small fruit on it now. Just starting to get small fruit setting on there. We've got a elderberry in a bag here. It's just gone ballistic, so I have to figure out what to do with those berries. And another black sapote in there. Which way? Um, this one. This is the bakapuri, which has a few flowers on it this year. So I'd be interested to see whether they actually are a or whether they're just another lemon drop mango stand. Uh, I've got some other trees in pots. I've got some archer chars in pots here that I need to graft eventually. I've planted out my two Garcinia macrophyllas in the ground. Everything here struggled a bit because it was very open. There wasn't many much protection, but they're just starting to come back. And I've got a few other little trees. An another supposed madrono, but I don't think it is. Um, and a uh, perfume guava as well, Campanesia. But I have to find somewhere to plant. The ice cream bean is getting pretty big now. It's probably, I don't know, four and a half meters high and it's covered this year in flowers. So these will all open up soon. It's gonna look pretty amazing. Up in here, we've got fruit for the first time on one of the Lacucha. I think I put them on Instagram. They can't really see, they're right up the top. A few little fruits up there, they're only tiny. I don't know whether they're gonna stay on, but I've got a big bunch of, um, what is this? Goldfinger bananas here. They have an amazing, amazing bell. Huge, huge bell on them. That's almost squashing this um, Grimmel Jabota cover. These, these will move, I just need to get rid of some stuff somewhere else and then I can move these bananas. Uh, coffee is flowering again. Um, I haven't even looked in here, but oh yeah, this, this Grimmel de Botacarba is just starting to throw a few little flowers. Which, they'll get more as it starts to warm up. Another Abbey U, another Grimmel. I've actually never got any fruit off my um, Lemon Aspen, which is an Australian native rainforest tree, but I'll give it one more year and if, if I don't get anything, it's destined for the fire pit. Um, the lemon drop mango stain we've picked we've just finished picking a heap of fruit and now you can see it's covered covered in little flowers so it will be every every branch has got flowers on so it'll be like 50 or 60 fruit maybe and the tree's only two meters just over two meters high and then we get down to the row of sabras we've got one two three four five I still haven't seen any flowers yet this year on any of them. This, this is the one that had some flowers, but once again, we'll just wait and see. Another lemon drop mango stain, another Cavendish in there. We've got the Brazilian cherry. It's got a few flowers on it. The canister, which we had a couple of fruit of, which were really good. So hoping we get a few more fruit. Um, and then we'll go back up here. I've got the lemon meringue and the lemon zest mango that I need to I was meant to move, but maybe Rachel's forgotten, I don't know. Um, a giant soursop from Daly's, meant to be big fruit. Underneath these nets here, we've got blueberries, but we've, the birds keep coming in, so I had to put these, otherwise we don't get any. <laughs> but this year we've been getting a lot of blueberries. Oh, there's a good bunch here. So, pretty good, better than buying it from the shops. 
Um, another shower stop here. A bunch of small Jabota cars. I've got a Red Lantern, Naval, Oriana, a white Jabota Carver. This is one of my graphs, a red on Grimmel. Um, what's this tag here? Oh no, I haven't. That is a, oh, that's the Oriana Potential Hybrid. A Z grafted Z4 on Sabra. That's the, that's the root sock there, I need to pull that off. And then we have a few other, I think this is actually a PDM. I've lost a tag for that, but I don't know by looking at it. Ah, uh, that's a, one of my graphs, a red hybrid. That's a Pingo de Mel and a giant red diamond. So I bought these while I did a video. And they were just little tiny sticks, so they're growing well. I've got a Glen Mango in a pot. It's got a heap of flowers on it. The Lee Jujube is just starting to grow back. I dug that out of the ground and brought it up here so I could... We really need to net this because the fruit fly hammer it. And the Brazilian cherry in behind there. The Guabiju is got some flower buds for the first time this year. So I'm pretty excited. These are them in here. Oh, I actually see there. See the little flower buds in there. So this is about four years old, so it's pretty good there. Pretty fast grower. And then I have a bunch of other seedlings that I've planted. Uh, Spanish lime that I need to find space for. A bumpy lemon madrona that I got from Ross Creek. They guarantee that it's a bumpy lemon, but I'll wait and see. Um, this got hit. This is a, um, a something, Ceylon Hill gooseberry that got hit with um, myrtle rust, I think. So I sprayed it, but I'm not sure what's going to happen there. And then I've got uh, a Fatanthria castata in here and another Oriana Fatanthria hybrid. Of course, something, I don't know. Uh, Scarlet Jabota Carba, had some fruit off. Um, red hybrid Jabota Carba, just starting to, you'll see the little bumps on the trunk here, that's just won't be too long, and these will come out. Um, another one here, another, this is a Coronado, the big Jabota Carba. And then through here, oh, heaps of nasturtiums. And these are the purple yams, all the ubes. These are all the ubes that I dug up from the garden here. So we've been trying to get through them. A lot of these smaller ones will replant and this will end up like this in a year. So it's pretty awesome. So we'll keep going out this way. Oh, here I've got some cassava I need to plant out. Some more patombas, a yellow cherry of the rare grand. Some more achacha seedlings, some more imbes, some more something that I'm not really meant to have. So I won't say that one out loud. Yeah. Seedlings here that I've planted for the veggies. Some lettuce, various collards we'll go out in the garden. And we'll keep heading around. My ducks, my ducks have been loving the parsley, so I have to cover it up, otherwise they just destroy it. Um, I've got a pluot and a golf ruby plum that'll need to go out next year when I make some more room. Um, the falsa is starting to get some little buds and come back to life. Blackberry jam fruit, which I have, it'll come back. I've never had any fruit set properly on there. The dwarf umbrella June plum, which I'll probably get rid of because I don't really like the fruit. Um, pink fruit 